doing today, brother? I'm all right. I'm all right. All right. Can you please tell the world your full name? My name is Pedro Duran Jr. and uh, my ring name is Little P. Little P. I've heard, I've heard, I heard a lot about you, Little P, and I heard all the great things you're doing. Uh, please let the world know how many, uh, how many you have won and how many you have lost. My record. Your record. Um, nine and zero oh with six knockouts. Nine and zero oh with six knockouts. Yeah. yeah, I wanted you to say that on, uh, on, on, on purpose, because I know you, I know you, you, you haven't lost not one. No, oh, yeah. And uh, God willing, God willing, it stays that way. Yeah, hopefully. Um, tell me, tell me um, some a little bit about yourself, your career, how you how you, how you first started boxing, and uh, a little bit of so on. Yeah, yeah. Um, I started at eight years old. Um, how I got involved, uh, me and my dad had just got out of prison, and um, we were driving down the street. We were driving down Gage, and uh, we, we lived in Bell at the time, and we were driving down, and we seen a Steca Boxing Club to the right, and. He was like, oh, there, you know, there's a, there's a boxing gym. You want to walk inside? I was like, yeah. I walked in, and I seen some kid doing mitts, and he was doing them really, really fast. And I was like, man, I want to do that. Ever since then, I was, I was hooked. That's good. That's good. Yeah. So um, uh, is, is, your, is your dad, he's, he's okay now? Oh, yeah, he's fine. Yeah, he's, he's, he's done with that. That's good. That's good. That's good. Tell your dad I said, I said hi, and uh, God bless him. Yeah, thank you. Um, what your next fight, uh, Little P? When's it coming up? Uh, it's not. I don't have a scheduled fight yet, but we're looking at either uh, uh, sometime in late February. Late February. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, who's uh, who's your promotion company at the moment? Uh, Zanfer Promotions. Oh, okay. Great. Great. Um, how long? Uh, how long uh, have you been doing this? Uh, this this training camp uh, for the last fight you fought? How long was your training camp? Um. I fought in September, that was my second to last fight, I fought September, I think 20th, something like that, and um, I took a few days off and I was right back at it, so like two and a half months. Two and a half months training camp. Like that, yeah. where, where do you go run at? Uh, Griffith Glen, Park, Griffith Park, Glendale, Baldi, the beach. Baldi. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Uh, where you go, Malibu, Santa Monica, or um, Doc Wilder? It's like uh, the 105 West, all the way to the ends. Okay. Or, um, Manhattan Beach. It, it don't really matter. It's so the beach. You recommend all these places to different boxers that are just starting off. Yeah, yeah. Because there's definitely a lot of people watching around the world that uh, they're 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 looking at your record, man. This guy's doing something right to be able to have. Uh, you said nine and zero, correct? Yeah. That's good. That's good. Uh, what do you want to tell uh, these different young boxers uh, coming up and the amateurs and uh, um, so on? Um, just work hard. Work hard. Stay humble. Give it 100%. And you'll make it. I like what you said. You said stay humble. Is there, is there a reason why you're, you're, you're so humble yourself? I've noticed. Um, I see a lot of big time boxers, usually the big time boxers who make you know, a lot of money. And, you know, they become, I don't want to say no names. But they become arrogant, and I mean, that, that that's that's not me. Like being arrogant, and being big-headed like that, you know. So I always tell myself to stay humble. Don't 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 turn into 